and we'll go over to the fight announcement from Tom right now. Well, the fifth fight of this LFL evening, ladies and gentlemen, is in the lightweight division. Scheduled three rounds of five minutes. Fighting out of the blue corner. Stands in at 186 centimeters tall, 70 kilograms, four fights on his record, three victories and one defeat. He's from France, Asilder Baduye! His opponent in the red corner stands in at 171 centimeters tall, 70 kilograms, two fights, two victories from Romania, Mirce Catalin. When the referee in this fight is Mr. Daniel Sharifi. How 2021 is it that, that people who have spent their entire lives in combat, when you see them in a cage, they're introduced, oh, well, he's got two professional fights or three. It's so misleading, but it's just a reflection of fighting in 2021. It has been a strange, strange couple of years. And I bet these guys are absolutely ready and raring to start this fight. So, Murchia is in the orange trunks, Baduev is in the majority gray. What do we expect? What do we expect here you from... You see the comfort right away. You see the comfort right away. It's... From which one? Both of them? Yeah, from both of them. From both of them. You know, fighting is dynamic, right? You don't just go out there and do something. You push and pull and change and get information back and forth, cause and effect, as you, as he's trying to do what he's trying to do and you're trying to do what you're trying to do. That's unsettling, that's nerve wracking because this is a man trying to get in and get your body and move to your back. That's unsettling, but to both of them, this is a comfortable experience. Although it's not comfortable being mounted and then now into, I believe, side, no, half guard um, by bad whip. And this is exactly where a wrestler, someone with that background, like Baduev, wants to be, correct? Yes. You know, as somebody who's grown up competing in judo has a lot of answers on the feet, but, you know, laying on his back, probably quite shortly to be elbowed and punched from here, that is what you, and there is, there's the first of the, of the knuckle sandwiches. This is not where it's comfortable, because the man on top of you will go from pad of the foot to pad of the foot, pressuring hip to hip to hip, slowly opening up the angles to punch and elbow you in the face. And this is gonna be an interesting challenge from Murchia here to see whether he can get up. No more doubt his heart here, but you know, when you have a top class wrestler on top of you, it's pretty hard to shrug them off. Something we've seen, well, we've known for a long time before, but we've seen many times this evening, Robert. Yes, yeah, it, it is a stressful, painful you know it's not just the punches it's the work it, it's, it when we watch if we don't and now it's the work and the punches if if we don't compete or 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 do martial arts you would okay he's laying on the bottom and he's sitting on the top but it's little micro battles are happening throughout little push with the hip now moving his legs now controlling the hand these that then up to the elbow all of these micro battles require you know a focus, attention, mental resources, and that's fatiguing. So we can see here that Murchia's foot is on Baduyev's hip. What is he trying to do here? So it's, when the feet are floating, you have no control with your lower body. But when your feet go to the hip, now you'll see the right foot in the hip there. Now you can push off, but then Baduyev stepped over it. Every little movement changes your relationship to the other man. And, uh, and it's difficult. People will often say, "What?" And, and very normal question, what should Mercia do? Some big shot. Oh. oh. I'm not sure what the ref says he did illegally there. Yeah, there was definitely, it wasn't just a normal stand up. He, it's, we're trying to work out what exactly it is, uh, what precisely the referee is warning yeah. Baduev about. It looks like some sort of illegal shot. Something, yes, something he did, the referee didn't like and said, now you will stand up. And that is a, you don't really necessarily have to penalize him a point, but it is penalizing to go from being on a top position to standing up at the spinning hook kick. Just flicks it out there. Not bad for a wrestler, huh? Yeah. Whoa. Not bad. And if done, if you caught the sound of those leg kicks mm -hmm. from the audience there, but they reverberated around this arena. And another one, a red mark already opening up on Badiev's left leg just above the knee. 
Mercia's got that sort of swimmer's elasticity. See it? The way he just, just floats his, his weapons around. It's a very, very smooth way to be able to, to punch and kick. You can tell this is something he spent his lifetime, you know, cultivating. And his memory, this, this line. Excellent work by Mercia. Mercia is only 23 years old and looks like a natural. What does it take to be able to throw kicks like that with so little telegraph? Above? Yeah, just that smooth, just practice, like thousands of that. Oh, just an and inside. Much like that. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous uh, technique. And just goes to the inside trip. And, and it wasn't just where he put his foot to take out the leg. It's what he did with the upper body. You know, if I want to take you down, we can do something to your foot. I can put my foot in the way. I can put my leg behind. And then I have to do something to your upper body to make you fall over. And that combination, take, you know, it's a lifetime of work to be able to make it look that easy. Mm. Like all the best things, right? The best mm. people out there make the hardest tasks look like breathing. Yeah. Yeah, the fastest runners don't look like they're working that hard. They, you know, people fly through there and dunk a basketball, and, and it looks effortless. And, and it's the same thing here in combat. Yeah, the opposite of me running to catch a bus. <laughs> So interesting, Badiyev is disengaged there. Yeah, Mercia has a moment where he can stand up and he's got, got to be decisive. And that is the answer. Get up, go ahead. And then I'll get to you, the time you stand up, I will get to your hips and it'll take you down. And it's, and it's demoralizing, it really is. Not, not to a man like Mercia, but to the rest of us. We can imagine doing all that work to get back to our feet and next thing you know, we're on our back again. Back and... Yeah, a seesaw around there. Lots of action, standing, referees getting involved. Andy, how would you score it? Well, that was a very action-packed first round. Uh, and I score it to a silver, a 10-9 round. Now, that's a very close round. You know, uh, Katalin Mircea, he landed the most significant strikes, but we saw Baduyev again and again just take him down. He landed three takedowns at will. And a silver's most dangerous weapon is his ground and pound. So I believe we're going to see more of the same in round two. Robin, how did you rate that first round? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't just bad. We have how, how smart he was, and he was smart. When he saw his man getting up, it was like, the time it will take you to get up, I will be back on you and I will take you down again. Of course, that fluid spinning hook kick, too. He's a great athlete. You can, okay, this, inside trip, but the upper body, rotation of the upper body. Just real, that's some, that's some sweet, sweet uh, technique right there. Oh, and you don't need to, you know, it's always good to tell the audience just like you were talking about. Something like that look effortless, even yeah. in slow motion, is not something you come by easily. That is thousands and thousands of hours. And when he got up, bad we have walked back to his corner like he was going to get a loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. You know, it was just like, for a lot of these guys, the rest of their life is just something they got to do to work hard to get a chance to do this. Do you know what I mean? That's, yeah. That is what it is to be pure in, in, in your passions, you know, where, hey, you have to train and work and you love that too, but life is about getting to this moment where for these 15 minutes or less, I can be free in this cage with a man who is also trained to fight me. To most people, that sounds crazy. To these guys, that just sounds wonderful. <laughs> For joy, the thing you work towards. And that's why it's such a privilege just watching athletes like this, right, Robert? It really is. It's a special thing. And watch this now. Again, you know, you've got a guy with a with a, a history of, of judo competition, but you're going to see uh, smart move. Little little move to just interrupt it, just step on the foot. Yeah, that was a very impressive uh, movement by Murchia there. Just seemed to roll with the pressure that Badiweb was putting on him and managed to stay balanced through the whole time. So this is not, you can easily see from watching these two men wrestle, these aren't amateurs. No, no, no. This is some some really complex stuff and Badiweb separates. So watch Badiweb perhaps kick here. Nope, immediately goes in deep. Didn't like what he had, too much upper body engagement. So he goes back all the way out. Because when you can travel from zero to 60, accelerating the way he is, you feel you can get on those hips anytime. And he, and he did exactly that. Yeah, it was a fantastic. And how much training does it take to make a double leg look so breezy? Just over and over, a lifetime of it, you know. Um, George St. Pierre uh, uh, is somebody, one of the greats, at, at, and he didn't grow up a wrestler. But every time I've seen George, and I've followed him for a documentary, every time, when he's warming up, He's going to do 20 singles, 20 doubles, 20 knee taps. And, oh, there's a head of oh, arm choke as he steps across, ear to tricep. Now he'll inhale and fill his lungs. There, there we go. Yeah. Made it look so easy. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was absolutely excellent. And you basically backed up absolutely everything you were saying there, Robin. That is experience, that is mm -hmm. hours in, that is ability of doing it with seemingly without even thinking about it. He's facing a guy with a lifetime of combat experience and he found the way to get in on the hips. He did exactly what he looked to do there. Now that's the end, the ear to tricep, the right shoulder cutting off the blood flow to the brain, and then the right arm of Badweev cutting it off on the other side. The right shoulder of Marcia Catalan uh, cutting off his own blood due to the pressure from Badweev. And let's not forget that Murchie is only 23 years old, probably born in a year that is just <laughs> impossible for us to comprehend. It, but what an excellent fight. He was not outclassed in that cage at all and showed he could easily roll with some of the baddest men in this division. But MMA and LFL in particular, this is a tournament. This is a knockout competition. And Bodoyev has booked his chance to progress and get the ability, the honor, to try and get his hands to really win that first LFL championship belt. So I believe we are just waiting now to go over to Tom for the fight announcement, and we should be ready now for the official word on the matter. Well, after two minutes and 10 seconds in the second round, we have a winner by way of tap out. The man, the winner is the man in the blue corner, Asildur Baduyan. Asildur Baduyan. That was an excellent, excellent performance. It just looked natural for you. Like, this is just what you do. You take men down and you submit them. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> just effortless. Uh, and tell me about that head and arm choke, setting it up. They train always in uh, training, do some technicals, and this is one of them, what they train always. It just looks like this is what you were put on earth to do, is fight men in cages. You have one more fight uh, still, and then the next fight will be for the title. Next fight or after? After. Now еще один бой and you уже дорога к титулу. Ты типа готов? Да, да, я <laughs> He's ready for anybody. Well, congratulations, man. Take a moment to thank your team or whoever you like. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. A man who loves to fight and doesn't waste any time talking. As Silder Badwiev, your winner here tonight. Fan.